welcome back to Moonstone Crafts and welcome to this diamond paintings from 2020 video. I'm gonna uh, show you all the paintings I've done this year. Uh, some will be with pictures, uh, like the first one, that's why you don't see anything on screen right now. Um, because I've gave them away or they're hanging in my house in a place that I can't show you right now uh, because of the lighting. Um, but some of them will be here in person as well. Uh, keep in mind, when I started in uh, this year, actually beginning this year, I didn't know about copyright yet, um, like most of the diamond painters. So don't bash people because of that. So some of them will be uh, copyrighted images that I didn't get from the right, correct store. Uh, if I know they're available somewhere else, the link in the description will be of the painting at the correct store that has their copyright uh, licensing. So I know I have one from that's now available at Diamond Art Club. I know I have one that is available now at um, Three Meter Signs. So I will put those links down. Uh, but I do want to show you them because I've completed them this year. Um, but keep that in mind. Uh, if you want them, they're going to be different than mine's. Because I'm not going to, and I'm not going to say which store I got them. Uh, because then you can still find them yourself. Um, but first off, we'll start with uh, this turtle. This is my very first diamond painting. The picture will show up now. Um, and I gave it away as a gift to my grandma uh, for her birthday, at the beginning of the year. I actually purchased this turtle in 2019, so last year. Um, in September or something or even August and I started on it and I, th I knew it would be an addiction but I just stopped during the winter and then the lockdown situation was there in March or something here in the Netherlands at least and I started again and I never stopped since <laughs> but I uh, finished it in March I think let me see if I no I don't have anything uh, in my app that says when I finished it but I think somewhere around March actually finished it. So that's pretty decent. Um, it was around it was around 42 by 32. I don't know if it was just a 40 by 30 I think. 30. Um, I was from a Dutch store called Action and it was very cheap but very nice for a first kit. Um, now I'm going on to my next kit. I'm actually gonna get it. It's this one. I don't think you've seen it on my channel uh, at all. It's my very first square kit. It's a 40 by 30 uh, from a Dutch store called the Yoba Source. Um, but as I was saying before, don't buy it there because I found out this is licensed art. Uh, I shouldn't have said which store. I'm sorry. Messed up already, but it's just on the canvas already, so you could have seen it anyway. Um, but it's actually licensed art by, I think, Howard... Is that his name? Green? I don't know. Howard... I don't know. It's uh, licensed by TSA, so I'm gonna put the link down. Uh, I know it's a horse selfie uh, that they now have. And on camera it actually looks better than it is in real life. It's uh, too small size for it to be... Uh, let me just zoom in. It's a bit pixelated. Uh, and this was my very first square and I thought it was very nice but I didn't know how to do squares yet uh, so there's squares in here with taps on the side and they popped so there's popping drills in here um, but I guess it was my first experience with squares for real um, and it actually feels good right now but oh no I feel something here so if you go over it with your hands you can feel it uh, but I think it looks good uh, I just, yeah, they, they were not the best squares, but it was a fun little project to begin with for squares. And this is where my love for squares started anyway, even though they were not the best squares, but I know that now afterwards. <laughs> I didn't know that at the beginning when I was doing it. So yeah, let me zoom you guys out a bit again, um, because we're going to move on to the next one. It's gonna be a picture again. 
it's my um how do you call it dandelion <laughs> dandelion painting this is the first big one i did it's the biggest to date i think well i'm actually busy with the one that's almost this big but i think this is the biggest to date right now it's a, it was a 60 by 80. let me put my phone up it was from home fun home fun store not home fun official just home fun store on aliexpress um and i was so pleased with those squares when i started this one uh, with the squares from home fun i was like god the squares from the from the previous one the horse that you just saw were terrible <laughs> so this was my good first good experience with squares uh when i got it there were uh, two drills back true drill two drill backs missing from one color so i asked them about it um, and they sent it to me i did have to pay one cent because they have to make a new order and they can't if you're not paying anything so i had to pay one cent uh, at the time that i almost finished it i was out of those drills they hadn't arrived yet so i ordered some from a dutch girl here in the netherlands that also sells uh square diamonds um they came the day after my aliexpress ones came because when i ordered those squares from the Dutch girl. The next day, the ones from AliExpress were here, and I was like, "Oh, of course, of course." And then the day after, I got the one from the Dutch girl, so they were even too late. But uh, I wanted to finish it soon because this was actually a gift from my mother for Mother's Day. Uh, it had been Mother's Day already. I couldn't finish it on time, but well, she saw that I didn't finish it on time, so it was okay. But. Uh, the picture you sh uh, I show you right now is uh, of it framed, because we let it custom framed, it was pretty expensive, but it's hanging still in the living room here, it was very nice to do. It had actually 42 colors, uh, I, I actually have data on this one, I started it on April the 12th, and I finished it on May 14th, so it's pretty quick, but, but that was like, I, I was not doing anything at the moment, at that moment in time. Just diamond painting all day so i got this one done so quick i couldn't do that anymore now but uh yeah it was fun next up is this one and i'm don't want to put it up on screen too long because i know this is licensed art from Anne-Marie bone that's at dreamer designs and you can actually get this kit now at dreamer designs um it was so beautiful that I had to buy it. It was actually a gift from my grandma for me graduating uh, from college. So it's very nice, but yeah, it's not uh, it's it's not the right company that I got it with because I didn't know yet at that moment. Um, but I started it on May fifteenth and I finished it on June 9th. So it was very nice. It was very confetti heavy. Uh, that's the only thing I have to say about it. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, uh, the correct link for this one from Dreamer Designs will be in the description. So please check it out if you like that one. Um, the next one is gonna be... Ooh! Some special projects! There we go. Some glasses cases. I don't know if you pronounce it that way, but these are some cases uh, to store your classes in. This is the inside. This is the one uh, I painted for myself. That's the one for my mother because she also wears glasses and we use them every day. It's very nice. They uh, actually came from Fan Cells. I made my first order with Fan Cells. I ordered these two as well. And actually the day I got them, I finished them, I think. Yeah, I got them June June 8th. Uh, I ordered them May the 28th and I got them June 8th, which was very quickly. Uh, so I started them on June 8th and I finished them on June 8th. Both of them, I think. Let me just check to make sure. Yes, I did. Um, they're very nice. We use them every day. They're just uh, very nice. Let me say that like that. And uh, yeah, just simple but very nice to use every day. I didn't seal them because I know many some people might ask that. I didn't seal them, uh, which I might have sh should have done because there's a lot of dust 
on the, the one from me and some hairs and stuff that got stuck on everything else that's still a bit sticky but I just uh, I don't really know what to use to seal for these kind of things that's here from the Netherlands that I can get easy and I know I'm, I'm not using it too many yeah, I'm not like touching it too much uh, and all the drills are still on so that's good it's just getting a bit dusty and uh, some hairs on it but for the rest it's uh, still fine so that was my next one let's move on to this cute little so I can get it leave it zoomed in cute little cacti cactus I'm not sure if you call it that in English as well but I guess you do um, it's just a very small but nice picture and I actually made this frame around it from washi tape which is very very nice um, I don't even know the size of this one but it's very small uh, and it's a round drill and from a Dutch uh, store let me just check if I have anything on this um, yeah it was very cheap as well I started on May 2nd finished it on May 3rd 30th the 30th of May which sounds like a long time but I was doing multiple whips at the same time um, so I didn't work on it every day let's say like that um, yeah um, it was good uh, this one I actually uh, used the multiplacer first for the first time ever uh, on the background and I think it looks good I used the six placer you can see it here that's a bit wobbly but it's good it's so sparkly as well this is hanging in my room actually right now so nice but this one I could get down so very nice let's move on to the next one which is actually a picture as you can see right now it's on the screen a screen it's a giraffe um, it's also the same size as the cactus you just saw it's from the same store it's also around um, and I actually made that one, that one for my other grandma because I gave the turtle to my one grandma and I made the other one for my other grandma because I thought that would be fun um, and I also made the border with washi tape with that one she actually put it in a frame later on herself which is fine um, do I have anything to say about that one? it wasn't my favorite I don't think it came out that clear uh, for what it should have come out so it's not my favorite picture uh, but I started it on the 31st of May finished it on 16th of June uh, because the 17th of, 17th of June my grandma bought my it was my grandma's birthday so I had to finish it on time um, yeah that's all I have to say about that one let's move on to this green eye I'm so still so in love with this one it's hanging in my room but I couldn't get it off so that's why I show you a picture it's also the picture that's actually on my banner on YouTube so you might have seen it before it is from home fun again uh, it was not from the same order but it was the same company um, from just home fun, home fun store it's a square again uh, it was a 30 by uh, 20 by 30 uh, so very small but I thought this eye is big enough and it proved me right because it was and it's still very pretty drills were perfect it was like it was so much fun to do I really enjoyed it uh, I started on the 4th of June and finished it on the 17th of June so pretty quick and it was just a very fun project to do and I'm still very proud of that one next is actually this notebook that I'm using right now to record this video as well uh, it's also from Vancells, just like the glasses case that I showed you before it was from the same order um, I think I finished this in one day as well 
because I like to finish these kind of projects uh, on the same day. Is it in here? Yeah, it is in here. <laughs> Just looking. Oh, I actually have time on this. I had like 4 hours and 25 minutes on this one. And I, I did it on the same day. On July 10th I did it. And I finished it. It had 11 colors. And uh, yeah. It's a fun little project. I'm still using that notebook. Again, I didn't seal this one. Uh, I'm not having too much trouble with it right now. Other than dust and hairs, like I said before. Um, yeah, pretty nice. So let's move on to the next one. I have to open my notebook again. Um, ooh, I'm gonna insert a picture of my five panel. Uh, you have seen this on the channel before. I think this might be the first one that was actually on my channel. Um, this was a gift from my sister. Um, she and her boyfriend that live in an apartment. Uh, it's hanging there. I've been there like Christmas Eve, so I know that it's there and it's hanging and it's beautiful. Uh, I'm not going to show you that picture. It's on my Instagram if you want to see it. But I still have to uh, put up the video of five panel framing, uh, which I have in my archives and I still have to put it up. So you're going to see that picture there. Um, but this is just a picture that I framed it already and that's ready to give to my sister. It was a pain in the ass uh, to make because it was a lot of the same colors and then five times uh, if you want to know more about that I will sh uh, you can watch the poster view of this one it's up on my channel um, so it was from fan sales from the same order as the glasses case and my notebook um, it's, it was it was with canvas and all it was 95 by 45 centimeters it's smaller of course because it with fan cells is with canvas. Uh, I started it on June, uh, June 11th, so the 11th of June. Finished it on the 29th of July, which is still pretty quick for a five panel, I think. Um, but I know for sure now that I'm not gonna make a five panel very soon again. I just I don't like that you finish the part and then you have to do four other parts. I like to have when you're finished, you're finished. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's it's turned out beautiful and I like that I could give that as a gift. They were very happy with it, let me say that. And it's hanging in her, their apartment, which is very nice as well. Next, we finally get to see a canvas on screen again. And I have to zoom you guys out because I know you guys are zoomed in. So let me zoom out as much as I can because this is the biggest one that I'm going to show you guys here. Is it all on screen? There it is. There is... I know now the name. I called it Indian Horse, but it's actually called Roar Pony. And I know that now because it's available at Diamond Art Club. The week after I finished this piece, it was up on Diamond Art Club and I was like, really? Really? Uh, when, but when I bought this stuff, this one, just as like before, I didn't know that it was a stolen art piece. Um, so yeah, I'm really sorry to Laura, Laurie Prindle, which is the uh, the artist, and I said that if she releases anything else in Diamond Art Club, I will buy it. Because I know she's like a horse artist, and I really, really love it. Uh, their ones, the, the one from Diamond Art Club was actually a little bit longer and goes on a little bit more here. Um, I don't feel bad about this one because this one turned out so nice and I'm so happy that I did it. It was a lot of labor because it's a 60 by 60 but it was also it's also still one of my favorite pieces that I'm gonna hang in my room uh, or in my house when I get that. Um, but yeah it's a uh, I'm not gonna link or say where this is from I'll just link the Diamond Art Club one in the description. I'm not sure if it's available right now. I think it is. So if you want this one, go get it at Diamond Art Club. But this one is actually square and I know the Diamond Art Club one is a uh, round. Um, I've started this one on June t the 12th of June. And I finished this on the 2nd of August. 
So pretty average. And as I was saying before, it was a 60 by 60. And I should have time on this one as well. I spent around 65 hours on it. So a lot of labor, as I was saying before. And it's beautiful. So I'm definitely gonna frame it and hang it when I get my own apartment or my own house or something of my own, let's say it like that. Uh, but till that time it's gonna stay in storage. So let's move on. To my next one, which is... This looks very small now. <laughs> The heart tree. This is the heart tree from Fan Cells as well. My first square. Oh no, my second square because my five panel was squares as well. If I forgot to mention that, now you know my five panel was a square. Um, squares from Fan Cells. My first order from Fan Cells. Every little, every normal diamond painting that I got, like the full drills, were all squares. Um, so I have one still that I didn't complete yet. Um, but this is the heart tree. It looks nice. It's a bit small, but I think it's great. It was a lot of red. I was really done with the red when I finished this one. Um, but it was, uh, it's fine. It's very nice. Let me get the stats on this one. If I can. Come on phone. Give them to me. There we go. Uh, around 14 hours and 41 minutes. I've started it on the August 9th and I finished it on August 22. So pretty good, pretty good if I say so myself. Let's move on because otherwise this video is gonna be way too long. Now we have another picture which is my rainbow eye. Another eye. I know I'm starting an eye collection. I have one still to do. Uh, but this one is done. It's a rainbow eye. Uh, also from Home Fun. But this time, Home Fun Official Store, because I wanted to try and see if there was a difference between them. Um, I started on uh, the 30th of July actually, but I finished it on the 29th of August. Um, I had four whips at the same time uh, and had a little vacation in between and I took two of them with me and two of them stayed home, which one of them was this one. Um, because I actually just spent 18 hours and 47 minutes around that time on this one. So not too long. Uh, just had to my new whips at the same time. It had 33 colors and it was very nice. And it's hanging next to the green eye that you saw before in my room. So it's a very nice collection that I, when I wake up they are looking at me. <laughs> I don't find it creepy, I just find it nice. Um, next up is... This one. Let me get it to you. Which was also one of the whips that I got uh, going on when I had four whips at the same time. Like I was saying before, like with the rainbow eye. Um, this is the pink rose and it's from Home Fun Official Store, the same one on AliExpress. Uh, I started it on uh, the 10th of August. August 10 and I f finished it on 17th of September. Um, if you want to see a more detailed review of this one you can sh watch my post review because I had some drills missing and I had to get some out of my stash and there was something going on with this one. Um, so I have a lot to say about this one in my post review so I would highly suggest you go there. I, I did around 34 hours and 51 minutes, so around 35 hours on this one. Next up... Is the pink haired girl. There you go. Let me put her down a bit. Oh. Um... Yeah. Uh, this is a 40 by 50 square, also from Home Fun Official Store. I got them all in the same um, package. I actually have an unboxing of that one on the channel as well, if you want to see it. Um, let me just get through the right one. There we go. Um, 
I started it on August the 3rd and I finished it on the 11th of October. Um, a more in detail review of this one and what I think it could be better on her face and everything and on the background is actually on my channel. So search for the post review of this one. Um, uh, I'm spent around 52 hours on this one. So quite some time. Uh, but it's pretty. Let's say it like that. But I had some things that I had to say about this. You can watch in my post review. Let me just see what is next. Next is my little Drills and Chills project that you've recently seen a post review of. Um, it's so sparkly. It's still so. It's still one of my favorite round ones that I've done. Uh, it's very nice. Um, I started this one, of course, for drills and chills. Did around 21 hours and 27 minutes on it. I started it on September 1st, starting date of drills and chills. I finished it on November 1st, which was one day too late for drills and chills, but whatever. <laughs> um, and it was a 40 by 30 and it had 25 colors. Let's move on, because these ones I'm gonna go a bit quicker because you just saw the post reviews of these ones and if you haven't you can still watch them on my channel they're my most recent ones next up is the moon bear that you just saw me frame as well uh, this is just a picture because I gave it away as I said <clears throat> in my post review I gave it to my aunt uh, and she really she really liked it so it was a it was a big success it was uh, also a round Drill from Fancells. Uh, this was from my second order from Fancells. Um, <coughs> I started on 5th, the 14th of November and I finished it on the 20, 23rd of November. Um, it was a 30 by 30, but actually it was 25 by 25 because of the canvas size was 30 by 30. And I spent around 10 hours on it, uh, on making it at least. And it was very, really nice. I really liked the end result. Next up... Is the Flower Power Special Drill one that I just did a post review of. Um, very, very nice. So sparkly still. Also from Fancells, from my latest order from them. Um, I spent around... 3 hours and 49 minutes on it. Uh, I did it on the same day, on November 28th. Uh, but I did have two drills uh, not included. So I had two drills. Um, not, a not, not enough drills for one color. Uh, so that was the only negative about this one. But for the rest, it was very good. I have to move really quick now because I'm losing daylight. Next up, Christmas Warmed. You just saw these last Sunday. You saw the post review of this one. So if you want to know a lot more about this one, I go suggest watch that video. But uh, just for the record, I will just say it was also supposed to be 30 by 30, but it was actually 25 by 25. That 10 colors. Fin and did it all on December the 25th, Christmas Day. And then last, but not least, finally there, the last one I completed in 2020, is something I have to zoom out, is this Trashy Studios art. And you haven't seen the post review of this one yet. It will be up in the new year on the 3rd of January. So I'm not going to say much about it. Uh, only to, I will only suggest you go watch my post review next Sunday to watch me say what I think about this one. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, that's all my 2020 canvases and special projects and stuff. Um, yeah, around 30 minutes. That's good. So I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!